besides splitting HDRI method in order to have full control over your reflections and ambient color. So basically we're going to use two HDRI maps, one for the lighting and one for the environment. It's going to be the same map, it's just it's going to have different values in order to see the reflections better. Okay, so we stopped at our previous step when we added V-Ray Dome Light and we dragged and dropped instance of that HDRI image right here. So as you can see we're using one HDRI that's a little blurry and that will give us much softer shadows. I blurred it in Photoshop and um, as you can see we don't get much sharp of, of our reflections. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate it, call it environment env and I'm gonna load a sharper map so you can see if I'll double click on it we get much sharper reflections so that's good for uh, getting everything reflected all the chrome materials in this map we are going to put in our environment slot so just gonna drag and drop with instance as you can see same parameters same rotation values those maps have now our task is to balance it in order to have a good representation of uh, lighting ambience and reflection so in order to help us better see the reflections I'm going to actually I'm gonna create a sphere in the middle of my space here and I'm gonna give it a mirror material select mirror apply and this sphere 0 0.05 we need to exclude it from our main override MTL sphere number 5 going right and now we can make a test render and see how it works so we can see that our reflections getting much sharper but our overall scene got darker so what we need to do is we gotta go and increase our overall multiplier a little bit higher let's point 0.5 all right so as you can see we're getting much brighter results the lighting is working much better maybe a little bit too much so I'm gonna lower it just a smidge 0.4 and that would be my probably perfect balanced lighting with HDRI when we have split it in both for lighting and for environment in order to have better control one last thing just make sure when you use V-Ray Dome Light you make it invisible right here invisible and you also remove effect reflections because effect reflections are going to reflect that actual dome light in everywhere so you will have black uh, you'll have white big spots or triangles and in our case you're gonna have white spheres so you wanna avoid those reflected sphere in your object so it's got to be transparent so affect reflections tick on and invisible you want to see through if invisible is not turned on you're going to see the reflection of your HDRI and everything you're going to tweak for the environment will not take effect because your HDRI uh, V-Ray dome light will block it so you have to make it invisible that way you will see it through and you'll be able to see and render your environment background okay so this is how you work with your HDRIs you split it and you tweak it in order to get the perfect balance lighting